Welcome to King Player TV. Today we have a special guest. I think everybody in King Player TV land knows who this is, but I'll let her introduce herself. Without further ado. I'm Gina Schultz. I'm the singer of Noisy Neighbors. Noisy Neighbors. I think you've been around for a while, right? We've been around for about 11 years now. Okay. That's a long time. It is. Long time. So let's do some uh, questions, shall we? Sure. Tell me what got you started in music and how long you've been involved in music. I have been singing all my life. Um, it started, I mean, I don't remember when it started really, but my parents tell me I was singing. Um, and I did choir all through school. Um, I was in several choirs. I was in show choir, I was in honors choir, concert choir, female choir, um, so a lot of choirs. And then I was in choir in college too. Um, and then once I was done with um, or once I moved back to Toledo, I would go to karaoke a lot, and I met a lot of musicians um, through karaoke, and started going to watch bands um, from there, because I had met all these musicians, and they were like, come see my band. So once I did that, um, I just kind of got an itch for it, like, hey, maybe I could do this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now, you said 11 years. Yes. You've been with the band. Now, are those all original members? Has there been some different incarnations? Tell me about that. There's been a few incarnations. Um, when the band started, it was uh, completely different people, actually. I'm the only one that's still in. Wow. Um, but now it is Jeff Schrader on drums, Bert Noe on bass, and AJ Reynolds on guitar. Um, like I said, we've gone through a lot of people, and, and I still have a lot of love for those people that have left. Um, for our 10-year anniversary last year, we actually did kind of a reunion show uh, and had some of the previous members come back, and that was a lot of fun. That had to be cool. I it think, was fun. I've seen something about that. Somebody yeah. came and played I was with drums for one night or something like that. Uh, that was a different thing. Oh, okay. um, yeah, but that was our old drummer. Um, our current drummer decided he needed to go to Jamaica. Oh. And so... We decided to bring Todd back in for one show, and it was so much fun. So you couldn't have a gig in Jamaica where he couldn't take you? What, no, I guess that? not. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about your influences. Who influenced you, uh, if anybody, locally, when you first started out, I mean, even today? Um, the first influence that I, I really had locally was Kyle White. Um, over the years, I've had some people that have definitely helped me along the way and been inspirational to me. Um, Jim Filippiak helped us a lot from the bridges. Um, I'm, I adore and am always inspired by um, Jeff Stewart. And even more currently, um, Ashley Kelly is one of my best friends, uh, and so is Carrie Langendorfer, and they've inspired me to do a lot as well. Nice. How about uh, nationally, big name Max? Is there anybody that. Yeah, so um, Natalie Maines uh, from the Dixie Chicks mm -hmm. was a huge reason of why I sing like I do today. Um, back in high school I had a gorgeous choir voice and was a first soprano and you wouldn't be able to tell that now. Um, I don't sound like that anymore. I've kind of broken my voice a little bit. Um, but um, it was her, she had had a song that it was just kind of gritty and growly and I said, okay, I want to learn that and then it <laughs> never went away. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, um, who would you consider right now to be a favorite artist of yours? Pink. Pink. Yes. That's the voice that reminds me. Well, you remind me of her. Vocal style. -wise. Yeah, and, and she's a huge influence on me as well. Her, uh, Kelly Clarkson, Miranda Lambert, those are like my tops. Yeah. The times that I've seen you play, um, I've always said, oh man, if she ever did a Pink song, and I was here to see if that would be. We don't do any pink anymore. I know, because the only time I've seen you, you've not done it. But you did kill some House of Pain yeah. at Cock and Bull when I seen you. And I left with a newfound respect watching you rip that song apart. So, <laughs> um, 
If we go to your car, who's on your playlist right now? Always depends on the playlist. Um, I listen to a lot of like early 2000s pop punk, <laughs> um, <laughs> Yellow Card and um, The Used and My Chem and you know, stuff like that. Um, I also have a playlist that is a bunch of like new wave. It's very heavy in Depeche Mode and The Cure. Um, and then I have like, you know, some current stuff and some Americana kind of stuff that I'm trying to dip into and yeah. it's, it's all over. I have a Toledo playlist. Really? Yeah. All Toledo artists. It's so fun. No kidding. Yeah. That's uh, there's cool. some people that I wish they had stuff on Spotify. Yeah. Um, Andrew Ellis is one of them because he's one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a great playlist. Nice. 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 What's your thoughts on the current music scene? locally it's fun it's great it's love um i probably well my husband and i probably go out and support more local people than most i see you guys are somewhere every we're everywhere just about. <laughs> yeah um and that's not like i don't know it, it's something that we just we love to do i don't like to go to a bar and just sit there um it might also say that we might be alcoholics a little too, but um, <laughs> we, we, we like to go out to bars when we like to watch live music. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's nice though, because I'm, with me being a cover singer mm -hmm. and, and, you know, all the cover bands, they, they all love each other. And then sometimes you hear of original artists that knock the people that are doing cover music. Mm. Um, there's not a whole lot of them here, but there, it happens sometimes. Um, and I've made a lot of friends with original artists as well. So I kind of like being in that in between and one day I hope to be a songwriter, but it yeah. hasn't happened yet, really. <laughs> <laughs> Songwriting is, has, uh, it, it's still kind of an art. It is, it is. And you know, I, I could write a lot of crap. And just so I could say I'm a songwriter, yeah. but I don't think that that's the way to do it. Um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for a great songwriter. But let me ask you this question now that you bring it up. So if you were commissioned to write a song, <laughs> what okay. music would you use to inspire you to do that? Or what artist? Um, you know, I don't know, because I, I don't have my own sound. Yeah. Um, because I'm not... I don't play anything. I, I just sing. And I kind of try to sing everything. Yeah. I'm not so good with, like, a real good groove R&B. Horrible at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I can sing the heck out of a rock song. Yeah. Um, or country. I love country. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I think when I think of a good line or two, sometimes it usually tends to go more country like folkish usually jumps to the default setting no, no. right which is funny because i don't really sing that yeah. so much um but i don't know I, I the one song one song that i wrote i co-wrote with carrie langendurfer and it had almost an evanescence feel to it nice it was cool yeah amy and, lee is uh Singer. Yeah. Uh, she sings. Yeah, it was um, it was actually a duet that yeah. Carrie and I did. Really cool. I hope it does something sometime. I'd like to songwrite with other people. And I've talked about it. Kyle White has asked me to sit, uh, write with her. Um, there's other people that I'd like to write with just because I think they're great songwriters. So, But you have, you mentioned country. Yes. So I would think that it'd be easy for you to, if you put lyrics to something that you heard musically, then be able to spin that into something of because that's a default setting for you, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe you could you could pull that off. I don't know. I it's the the actual word writing that's really hard. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, maybe I'll show you something off camera. Okay. I'll let you take it home and play with it. Okay. And see if you can write something to it. How about that? Why not? <laughs> so, being that you're a singer. Yes. You've been around for a little while. Is there any, I'll put you on the spot a little bit. Okay. Right? 
Is there anybody in the city that you haven't sang with yet that you would like to? Solo artist or group? I'm going to say the answer is no. I've pretty much sang nice, with everybody. Nice, nice. <laughs> I, I, I'm one that, you know, they say, hey, Gina, you want to come up? Sure, let's go, let's there go. go. Um, or it might even be if it's a song that I know and I, I hear a missing harmony, yeah. I'll say, hey, do you mind if I come up and sing harmony? I never storm a stage, um, but I, I always I ask first or I'm always asked. Yeah. Um, I have some people that are fun to sing with, like a, a lot of fun. Melissa Toth of Not Fast Enough. She's a lot of fun to sing with. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, the first time I sang with them, she's like, hey, do you want to do this? And it was Lady Marmalade. Mm. And I get to do the pink part. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, Who's doing Christina's part? Uh, she does the rest of it. Oh, nice. Like, including the rap. Oh, nice. Um, but, yeah, I do, I do the pink part. And the first time we did it, we both looked at each other like, whoa, that was amazing. Nice. Nice, nice. So, if you were asked to sing one specific song, what would it be as a go-to song every time? Uh, probably The Story by Brandi Carlile. Okay. I don't think I've heard that. It's a great song. Yeah? Yeah, she just did really well at the Grammys. Okay. Um, not for that song, it's a brand new album that she has out, um, which is phenomenal, but yeah. She's a really great songwriter, and there's so much feel and emotion in her voice, mm -hmm. and just amazing. Like, I highly recommend that you go watch one of the live versions of The Joke. Brandy Carlin. Phenomenal, so. yes. Okay. Well, that led, leads me to my next question, um, which I don't like to talk about music too much outside of what we're doing locally, but give me your thoughts on the Grammys this past year. How do you think it was? So I only watched half of it, or maybe it was more than that, but I was, I recorded it and I never really went back and watched the rest of it. Mm -hmm. Other than I did go out and look for the performance of Shawn Mendes and Miley Cyrus, yeah. which was great. Um, I'm, a, I'm a Miley fan. I'll admit it. I think she's great. Yeah. Um, and Shawn Mendes has just really grown on me a lot. Lately. Great songwriter. Yeah. He's just, like, I, I actually just listened to his whole album yeah. yesterday. And I was like, oh, oh, this is good. And I'm like, okay, please make this song a radio hit so that yeah. I can play it. There's a song of his that I, that I heard by accident. He was doing in a little club in North Dakota somewhere on an off night. This, I don't know the name of it, but this song should have been a hit two years ago. Wow. It was very deep in one of his, you know, one of his CDs, but... That song should have been out two years ago. Wow. So, but that made me start paying attention to more of his stuff. And he is a great songwriter. Yeah. Great and I, I like his voice a lot. Yeah. I like, actually, I like to sing his songs yeah. because I feel like it sounds good. Like it, it's in the right spot for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I did watch that um, just yesterday. Um, Brandi Carlile did the joke on that and I mean, just nailed it. And to see the people all stand up for her, because I've been a fan. Not, I'm not a huge fan. I, I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but to see all the people stand up and recognize her, like, standing ovation, it was so cool. Because, you know, I, I imagine me in that situation a lot. You know, like, it, it, what would I feel like if I was on the Grammy stage and I just, you know, nailed this performance and everybody's so into it? I think of that and then, like, I cry, usually. <laughs> <laughs> because it's just, like, this happy feeling for that person. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so, you know, I appreciate you coming over to the guitar room. I know you don't play guitar, but I always like to bring artists and bands and groups and people over that I think that are talented. It's been around for a while. Your name's out there. I've caught you a couple times, so I appreciate you coming. Thank you. Um, before we let you go, why don't you let everybody know what's going on with Noisy Neighbors. Let us know what's going on with some gigs coming up. What are you guys that are doing in the next little while? Um, I think our next, well, Acoustics for Autism is the next one, August, or no, March 3rd, March 3rd. Um, and then March 9th is the Cock and Bowl, which is always a good time. Um, can't think, oh, March 16th, the Distillery for St. Patrick's Day, which is my favorite holiday of the year. 
Why? You know, we've only played one in St. Patrick's Day. Really? It's yeah, for me, I, I'm i Irish and no one knows it. <laughs> Hold on, I'll show my tattoo here. Oh, there you go. Right. Got my little shamrock eyes there. Yeah. Um, but no one knows I'm Irish, so I feel the need to go all out for it. And so I make sure to wear like some kind of St. Patrick's Day shirt, and then I have knee-high shamrock socks, and I wear black and green tutu. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. You go oh, all the way out. I go all out. There's usually something on my head, whether it's like a headband or a hat or something, but That's awesome. I go all out. <laughs> so social media platforms. For... Facebook, Instagram, uh there is a Twitter out there, but I wouldn't look at it. There's not really much out there. <laughs> That's the one thing I never remember to update. Instagram I struggle with too, but yeah. Facebook for sure I'm always on top of. Um we have a website, nnbam.com. It does have all of our dates on it. Um, yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, I appreciate you coming. Thank you. Before I let Gina go, congratulations on the longevity of your band. That's a long Thank time. You. you don't get that too much. Right. And and bands still actually are standing on their feet and playing because I've seen some bands with some longevity, but they don't. Well, let's just say... Uh, Congratulations to your band for <laughs> 11 years. But you can catch me on Facebook at KP7. The Instagram is King Player Official and Twitter is KP71. This will be on YouTube coming up soon. The King Player TV on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. Comment down below. Subscribe. Click the links. Anything going on. Tell there, me before there, I let you go. There's links, right? There's links. There's, there's somewhere, links. somewhere down there. Will be. <laughs> What's that shirt you got right there? Oh, this is a... Uh, Give a shameless support, plug. Support local music. Um, my husband is Chad Schultz of Crutch Bear, and so he's got lots of t-shirts, designs, and uh, can be looking out for an interview from him, too. Yeah, and I think those little things above your head on the wall. Oh, yeah. Those are his, Doop, too. Boop, boop. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Gina. Have a good day. Have a good gig when you get out there and do it, and always support live music. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for coming.